Good morning, first grade scholars. My name is Miss Snap. I will be your virtual reading teacher for today. We are working in week nine, lesson 45. Today, we're going to practice our daily routines with our high frequency words, sound drills, and words with the double E vowel T that says E, the double O pattern that says O, and Y at the end of a two syllable word that says E. Let's look at our first high frequency word. It sounds like this. Un, d, er. What does that word say? That's right, under. Give yourselves a virtual hug. Great job, scholars. Let's try this next word. S, u, m. Mm. When we put it together, what does it say? Soon. Great job. Give yourselves a virtual wave. All right, boys and girls, our next word does not play fair. Ev. Re. This word says every. We will practice our high frequency words every day. Great job, scholars. Virtual hug. When we say this next word, it says N E more. Do all of the letters say their name? Hmm, no. When we put this word together, it says any more. What does it say? That's right, any more. Virtual wave. Our next word looks like it has a magic E. O, mm. what does this word say? Oni, own, no, it says one, like the number one. I'm sending you a virtual hug. Good job, scholars. This word does not play fair. Lit, ooh, little. The little girl ran after the ball. Wave, little. Our next word kind of looks like re, a, uh, li. Really? Does that word play fair? Really? Sending you a virtual hug. This sound says e as in seek. We will play hide and seek at lunchtime. What's the sound? E. Say the sound with me. E. Now say the sound on your own. And take turns saying the sound to someone in your home. Great job, scholars. This sound says oo as in boot. What's the sound? Mm. Say the sound with me. Oo. Now say the sound on your own. Good. Take turns saying the sound to your partner at home. Ooh. This sound says E as in party. What's the sound? Say the sound with me. E. Now say the sound on your own. Now take turns saying the sound to your partner at home. Great job, scholars. We are going to make words using sounds that we know. This word has a double E vowel team that makes the sound E, as in the long E. Say and tap it out with me. B, E, B. When we blend the sounds together, they make the word B. Students, I want you to sound it out while tapping the letters B, E. Now say the word with me, B. Great job, scholars. This word has the double O pattern in the middle that makes the OO sound. Let's say it and tap it together. Sh, OO, T, shoot. Remember, the SH is a consonant blend that says SH, and then the double O pattern, OO, and then T, T at the end. 
So when we blend these sounds together, they make the word shoot. Now I want you to say each sound while thumb tapping it out. Let's try it again. Sh, oo, t, shoot. Say the word shoot. Great job, scholars. This word has a Y at the end of a two syllable word. So when we tap it out, it says plenty. Plenty. When I blend the sounds together, they make the word plenty. Students, say each sound while thumb tapping plenty. You try it on your own. Great. Now say the word plenty. Let's try it together again. In E, plenty. Great job, scholars. Okay, first graders, it's time for us to practice reading fluently. Miss Snap has to step out for a few minutes, so Mr. Kurtz is going to step in and sing the transition song with you. And we are going to go ahead and start our lesson off with our transition song. One, two, three. Sit down and come together, together, together. Sit down and come together, together right now. Open up your ears now and listen for fluency. It's time to hear what fluent means, so listen right now. Very nice job, first graders. Boys and girls, don't you love the way Mr. Kurtz sings? I do too. So when we're done with the learning targets, He's going to come back and sing the transition song for you or with you. Let's look at the learning targets for today. I can read fluently. Ah, this word fluently. What does that mean to you? Well, let's read the next three sentences and see what fluently means. I can read smoothly and at the right speed. Smoothly. That means I'm not reading choppy like a robot. I can read smoothly. No, I can read smoothly and at the right speed. The right speed means not too fast, but not too slow. I can read with meaning and expression. Hmm, meaning, expression. Sometimes when we're reading a story, the character might be excited. So we have to read with excitement. Or if we see an exclamation point, that's an indicator that that's an exciting sentence or the character is reading because they have a lot of emotion. The third one says, I can reread when something doesn't make sense. So that means if I don't understand a sentence, it might be because I read it too fast or too slow, or there may have been a word that I did not understand. So I might have to reread a sentence that means read it again to make sure that I understand what they're saying. Let's get ready and sing our transition song with Mr. Kurtz. And to start off our lesson, let's sing our fluency song. Remember, there's a teacher part, a student part, and then we'll all sing together. Are you ready? Well, let's get started. One, two, three. Can you read this fluently, smoothly with expression, please? Can you read it smoothly with expression and meaning? So now we'll read this fluently. Think about how smooth it will be. Now we'll read it fluently at just the right speed. Very good job, first graders. You sounded awesome. First grade scholars, we are going to read an excerpt from the decodable reader, A Little Seed. Remember, an excerpt is a part of the story. Do you remember the fluency rules? Let me put them up so that you can read them as we go along. Rules of fluency, smoothly. Remember, we're not gonna read like robots, choppy. We're gonna read smoothly. We're gonna read with expression and meaning. So if we see a sentence that has a question mark, then we're going to read the sentence as if we were asking a question to one of our friends. Then we're gonna read with just the right speed. We're not gonna to read too fast, and we're not gonna to read too slow, but we're gonna read just right. Listen to me read, and then you tell me 
whether I read it fluently or not. See the little seed under the tree? It is a windy day. The wind sweeps the tiny seed to the city. It lands on a roof. Hmm. Did I read that fluently? Did I read it smoothly? With expression and meaning? Did I read it at just the right speed? Hmm. What do you think? No, I did not read that fluently. What should I have done? Or what did I do wrong? I can't hear you. That's right. I read it too fast and then I read it too slow. Let's try one more time. Let me read it to you one more time. See the little seed under the tree? It is a windy day. The wind sweeps the tiny seed to the city. It lands on a roof. Did I do better that time? Did I read it smoothly? Did I read with expression? Did the first sentence sound like a question? Did I read it at the right speed? Yes. Now, it's your turn to practice reading fluently. I want you to pause the video, take out your Jacoba reader, the little C, and I want you to practice reading out loud fluently. Remember, read smoothly with expression and meaning, and don't read too fast or too slow, but just at the right speed. If you need some help, ask someone in your home to listen to you read and ask them to uh, let you know if you read smoothly with expression, with meaning, or just the right speed. All right, first grade scholars, it is activity time. Go ahead and get your distance learning packet out. Turn to lesson 45. We're gonna practice our high frequency words. Pause the video and get your materials if you don't have them already. Don't forget, you're going to need a pencil. All right, scholars. I hope you have lesson 45 in front of you with your pencil. We are going to practice writing our high frequency words two times each. Let me show you. Soon. S. O. O. N. Soon. S. O. O. N. Soon. That's what you're going to do. Say the word, write the word, say each letter as you're writing it, and then say the word again, and then do it a second time. Go ahead and pause your video and complete the activity by yourself. When you're done, click the pause button or the resume button to finish the lesson. Scholars, what is one goal you are working on to become a more proficient reader or to become a better reader? Hmm, think about the things that we did today. Do you remember the rules of fluency? Reading smoothly with expression and meaning and reading just at the right speed? Maybe one of those might be a goal for you. We all read a little different. If you read too slow, you might want to pick up the pace so that you can read a little faster or just at the right speed. If you want to read with better expression or more expression, then if you see a sentence that ends with a question mark, then you wanna read that sentence as if you were asking a question to one of your friends. Or if you saw a sentence that ended with a, an exclamation point, you wanna read it with excitement or with strong feeling. Or perhaps you just wanna read more smoothly because you're reading choppy, like a robot. So pick a goal that's gonna help you become a better reader or a more proficient reader. Thank you for learning with me today. I look forward to teaching you again real soon. Until we meet again, here are a few reminders to help you prepare for second grade. Watch the alphabet chant video, read the decodable reader for the week, practice at least five high frequency words each day, read 20 minutes, and don't forget to complete your reading log entry. Practice your handwriting, 
by writing the letters A through Z in uppercase and lowercase, write your high frequency words, practice writing CBCE and CBC words, and don't forget to practice writing short and simple sentences. Until we meet again, bye.